Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siren Red and you're watching Siren Red Tarot. Today's video is going to be what makes you lit. Now, before I get started, I have a few announcements. My first announcement is, great, is I'm so excited to announce we've made it to 800. We made it to 800 subscribers. Like, I am literally like floored. Like, I didn't know I was going to get here this fast. Like, when I started out on my old channel, I think I probably had about like a hundred and some subscribers and i've grown all the way to 800 subscribers in just like a week or so like a week a couple maybe two like two weeks maybe like that is insane so i i really appreciate you guys so much for subscribing you know for watching my videos and you know being here with me i really appreciate that so to to um show my appreciation appreciation i'll be giving away a free reading if you want to join this giveaway, all you have to do is leave a green heart, a green heart emoji in my comments. That's it. You don't have to comment anything else. If you would like to, you can. But all you have to do is drop a green heart emoji. And I'll be choosing a winner tomorrow around 7 o'clock. And I will send you my email address. And you will have to send me a question, a picture of you or anyone else is in the uh, question. So I could conduct your reading. My second announcement is, okay. So, I understand that... Um, some people don't feel comfortable sending a picture or something like that. But for me personally, I've never tried to read either somebody I don't know or somebody I've never seen before. So I probably could do it, but I feel, me personally, I feel like it will come up as a collective reading. You know what I'm saying? Because when I read this, I'm reading the overall energies of whoever is going to come to this video. But when I'm reading for a person, I prefer to have a picture of the person or I, know the, or I have to know the person. Like I have to physically know what they look like. For example, when I channel for my friends, I know what my friends look like. So I envision them in my head, and I envision the person that they're talking about in my head. And then I, that's how I can ch um, channel. For all the readings I've done for other people, I have to use pictures of them and whoever they um talking about. I'm not here to do anything funny for your pictures. I'm not going to try to sell you anything after I give you your free reading. It's literally just a free reading. You can see my reviews. I'm not going to be like, oh, well, if you want to know more, you can uh, pay or whatever. No, I'm going to give you a full free reading. I'll make sure your question is answered. So I just want to put that out there because I did get an email and someone was asking me why I needed the picture. And I just want to clarify that it's not for any purposes other than like for me personally to visualize it. So to make sure I'm accurate. Because I don't want to start reading and then I start picking up on extra energies that don't have nothing to do with what I'm reading for, if that makes sense. Okay, so now that I got that out the way, let me let's let's um put your put my phone on the piles. We got three piles here that you can choose from. All right, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna um be buying some wall art today. I think I, I found this little dangly crystal thing I want to put right here. So that's what I think I'm going to get. Alright, if you chose part one, you chose this blue stone. And this is, this is a throat chakra stone. I'm not sure what it's called. This came in my chakra healing boxes. What makes you lit is friendliness. Someone here also has a really nice smile and you really know how to dress really good. People think you're really cool, but it's your smile that really gets people. Some of you guys got the type of smile that makes people like, if they're having a bad day, if they come around you, it's like, maybe you a good joke teller or something like that. I'm trying to find my other incense. My, I love using my throat chakra incense when I'm reading. Like, it's just, it just hit different. Like, it helps me open up more talk more. Because I'm not very, I'm not feeling very well. I'm having a really bad eczema flare out. And my throat is just, you know, I don't got the Rona though, guys, so don't worry. All things shall pass. I have a habit of stressing myself out a lot, so that's why. But, um, yeah, I'm saying your smile. Someone here knows how to make money, so you might be a hustler, and people really respect that about you. Give me a second, I'm trying to channel. So you guys are like really like able to stand in your power, but not like I don't get the bully sense, but I get like like 
if you're a boss or a manager somewhere, it's like people respect you. Or even if you're not, it's like you know how to get respect without using like fear or without using like intimidation. It's like something about your energy, the way you treat people, the way you move, it makes people want to respect you. Like a lot of people aren't going to try you. You're like one of the people that's like the nicest person in the world. But if you cross me, I can easily change up into this alligator. So, I mean, I suggest you treat me right or I suggest you talk to me like you got some sense or you want to see a different side of me. But people respect it, though, because it's not like you pull it out to be a bully. You pull it out to let motherfuckers know I'm not to be bullied. You know what I'm saying? People really like talking to you. It's like you always have really good advice. You always have really good insight in a way you give it to people. Like, you give it to, you give people the truth, but you keep it, like... Um, you ever heard, you, ever, you know Dave, Dave uh, Ramsley? Somebody might have just been watching that show. So that's why I'm using this. Because I don't ever even watch one of his shows. Like, I just seen, like, the little clips and stuff. But he said, you know how he's, like, really mean? And, like, way, how he delivers, you know, to the cooks, like, what they should be, how they should be cooking. And, and how they should, like, you're not like that. You're one to be a boss and, you know, c and keep control and let people know that what they're doing wasn't right. But you know how to be respectful about it. So people respect it more and they want to listen to you more because of how you give off the um, advice. So this person is a, if you pick, if you chose power one, you're a really good um, with communication. Yeah, you're a type that, um, some of you guys might be a dog person. Some of you guys might like walking on a beach. Some of you guys definitely like flowers, but I'm seeing a big dog person. Smell like flowers. Smell like flowers. Yeah, you're just really interesting to be around. You seem like a very like you like one of the people that's liked, but it's like it's like you you're not liked because you're a pushover. Like you're liked because you're you're like one of the, you know how people got friends that they, that that are just like pushovers that you do what they want, and then you got friends that are not very nice. So you don't really like being around them, but they friends. You're one of the friends that that people respect. Like they respect you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're a good friend, but they respect you. Like they not gonna cross boundaries with them. Like you have really strong boundaries, and you're a really co effective communicator. Yeah, you don't let nothing keep you down for long. Like you, you this this pile of things really logical. You would be a, a great business person. I don't know if you work in a business, own a business, but you would be a phenomenal business person. Phenomenal. Yeah, like you're the type of person that 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 knows that everything life is an opportunity. Like you're always looking for opportunities, always waiting for opportunities. But you're not, you're not dwelling in the past. Like, you're not a negative person. You're not one to dwell in the past. Like, if something negative happened in the past or something didn't quite go your way, you're not the one to be like, oh, woe is me. Oh, the world is so horrible. Like, oh, my God, like, I can't believe this. Everything sucks. Like, you're not that person. Yeah, you're very patient as well. That's a good ass trait to have because a lot of people aren't patient. But you're a very patient person. Like if you know something is coming, whether it be from divine or in life, like you're the type you're like, okay, I'm I'll patiently wait. You know what I'm saying? Like you're very patient. That's what makes you lit. Like I think that people see you. I think that you're like if you have like a, a family that's kind of like all over the place, like you're the bread and butter that holds everyone together. If your relationship, if your partner's kind of quirky and crazy, like you're the one that means business. Like if somebody's trying to take advantage of them, they know not to have you around because they know that you're way too smart, way too cunning. You don't you see through people bullshit. Like you friendly, but you see through people bullshit. Spirit told me to tell me you will be a great manifester. Because you are so patient. However, you think really you think really logical. They want you to stop and kind of listen more to your inner self because you think very logical. Like almost lawyer like. Like this is what it is, it is what it is. Like you you need to um explore your imagination a bit more. Somebody keeps looking for a partner that's just like them. And Spirit wants me to tell you, you need to find someone that's a little, not a little less grounded because you are so grounded. It might be hard for you to go have fun sometimes. Because you're a very level-minded person, which isn't a bad thing, but 
gotta step out the box sometimes. Oh, and another thing, but somebody also commented and it was like, I don't even know why I'm addressing this, but somebody also commented and it was like, oh, reversals are uh, me are meanings too. Listen, I don't read like that, first of all. I read whatever jumps out to me on the card, whether it be a word, a, a symbol, a picture, whatever it is, that's how I read. And I read, I get um, channel messages, and sometimes I see images, and I'm audio clairvoyant. So my thing is, don't tell me, don't come on my channel and tell me how to read and tell me how to shuffle. I have never went on a, another tarot reader's channel and told them how to do their, their channeling. I follow a lot of tarot readers, and I watch, like, it's, it's at least five of them that always resonate with me, and I watch their channel relentlessly and i've never thought the comment like oh i don't like how you channel like you know what i'm saying i follow them because their specific channels are different and they resonate with me so please don't come on my channel telling me oh reversals mean this reversals mean that like first of all these are affirmation cards <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like first of all, these are affirmation cards so and even when i'm using my regular tarot like i don't go by the traditional tarot that's not how i read so if i did that i'll be being fake so and I know I'm accurate because you can see all my comments. You can see, like, the people who got personal readings from me. Like, I predicted my friend's pregnancy and a new man that she's with. It's, it, it's ridiculous. So, my thing is, don't, um, please don't come on my channel after telling me how to read. If my, if my style is not for you, it's not for you. But, yeah, people also like you because you're very stable. You find joy in the simple things. Yeah, you'll be a phenomenal, you probably, if you're not already wealthy, you're probably, you're going to be wealthy. Because just like, you're you're good at this 3D world. Like, you're very, and that's not, a lot of people aren't good at this, at this 3D world. Like, you're good at living in this 3D world. Like, you know how to navigate through this 3D world. How are you still have a spiritual side, but you balance it very well with this world, this 3D world we in. And people really admire that, they want to be around that. Because it's really hard for a lot of us to adapt to this world that we live in right now. Yeah, you know how to go with the ups and downs and you're constantly growing. Like you're just a really stable person and you have a really nice smile, really friend, really friendly smile and you're really grounded and you help people grow because you're always growing, always adapting, always learning new things. So like people have no choice, especially if they want to be around you, they have to learn new things. They have to grow because you don't, it's like, it's, it's like almost if you don't tolerate uh, mediocre, that's what I'm saying. That's what makes you look like you don't tolerate me mediocre in your life, in your friendships, in your love life. Like, no, the best of the best. Like, you need to make the best of your situation while we're on this earth. That's the type of person you are. cards really have suits on and ties and stuff like that if you're a guy you dress really nice if you're a girl you just really nice like really really nice like you you throw that stuff on like you got that drip but sometimes it annoys you that people want to talk to you so much but i gotta let you know that like, the spirit wants you to know that like, that's your gift your gift is effective communication your gift is making people comfortable if you find that people, cause I'm not type, I'm not type two, but it's more emotional. Like, you, people will call you and ask about serious life problems. Like, hey, bro, I'm about to make this move. Like, would that be good for me financially? And you're like, 
just like sitting in the living room, like minding your business or something. And somebody called in the middle of the day with a life changing decision. You're like, yo, why are you asking this? Because it's not something that you would ask somebody else because you don't need to because you're so grounded and you're so logical and you know how to think for yourself. Not to say that everybody doesn't know how to think for themselves. I'm just saying like you're like a they they trust in your um advice. They trust in what you think. You are proven to be to um to think from a very effective logical standpoint you know what i'm saying so people trust you with stuff like that so that is your gift and this, uh, the beautiful smile doesn't help doesn't uh doesn't uh helps things along it's like you just yeah some of you guys should look into giving like life advice maybe become some type of life coach i'm really hearing finances and, and projects and stuff like that this isn't so much about love that's why it annoys you because sometimes I feel like some of you guys just be wanting to have a regular conversation and then like your friends or, or whatever family start talking about they, they uh, financial problems or life problems and you're like, bro, like I didn't come over here for that. I came here to like just have a good time, but it's like they try to get some free help basically. So that's why I say maybe you should turn that into a business. Yeah, if you do, it'll be victory. It will also help you improve your finances. So you might want to look into that. There's this thing called, yeah, and they do like it that people are gravitate towards you because you give them advice that they need to hear, but in a gentle way, in a way that people can be accept, um, acceptive of it. Because you know, if you yell at somebody, most people stop listening to you once you once you start start yelling and all that because they become defensive. But you know how to exact, you know how to communicate effectively to get things done with people. So that's why they gravitate towards you so more. And I know that it's a, it annoys you, but this spirit is telling me this is your gift. Okay, this is your gift. I'm saying quote yeah this is a i feel really grounded and really like sane like you know what i'm saying so i can see why that would be annoying because it's like dog y'all coming to steal my energy like because I, I really feel grounded in your energy right now let me get your quote that leave you if i move on to the next pile yeah. you're really smart really intellectual you have a really great smile really friendly and you have effective communication so that's basically what makes you lit let me see and you know how to dress very well too. You got three quotes. See. Yesterday is not ours to cover, but ours is ours. But tomorrow is ours to win or lose. Exactly. You're very optimistic and logical. If you can dream it, you could do it. You're very positive. She believes she could, so she, she believes she could, so she did. Yeah. So you basically are somebody who, like, if somebody's thinking about making a decision, they will call you and be like, "Should I make this decision?" Because they trust your logic, and it's like almost if you know whether or not it would be a good decision to, for them to make. So, again, I would try to change that into a career or something like that. Because you don't want to be giving out too much energy for free. Because that's how you can be grounded sometimes. That's how you can um, be drained sometimes. I, I, I totally understand. Because I heard somebody like, I don't really like when people do that. I understand. But it's like your energy is addicting like that. And most of the time, well, I'm going to say really all the time, like when you do give advice, you're right. Even if the person doesn't take the advice, it's right. You may have people come back to you a lot and say, oh, you were right. All right. That was your reading power one. I hope it resonated. If it did, please let me know. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification button so you can be notified every time I post a video. Don't forget to comment on my on my video as well. If you, I'm, right now, we're ha I'm having an interview. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, guys. Like, my throat is, like, all crazy. Right now, I'm having a giveaway because we hit 800 subscribers. So, if you would like to join my giveaway, all you have to do is leave a green emoji, emoji heart in the comments down below. And I'll be choosing the winner tomorrow around 7 o'clock. With that being said, I'm going to move on to Power 2. Hey, Power 2. You pick Power 2. You got confidence. I guess I'm just a little nervous because, I don't know, I'm a lot of pain, but this one I think is a little bit better. What a real fun time to be patient. Okay, pal, too, if you chose this pal, you chose, you chose confidence. you really love yourself 
and you're abundant in everything, abilities and talents. Some of you guys may have a lot of talents. Like y'all know, may know how to draw, might know how to paint. I see art, I see music, I see like athletes. I see a track, I see a, a, a track, somebody running track. Like you may have abundance of like just all types of, some of you guys might like music, some of you guys might actually do music, but some of you guys just might know everything about music. Like you might be a music buff or a movie buff, but something like that, like you're you're mad creative. Like you just have all these components to you. You're not one to just have, like if you're a painter, you're probably a painter and you play the guitar. Or if you're a musician, you're probably a musician and you run track. Like it's, it's like multifaceted. You have so many abilities and talents. It's crazy. And people really admire that. Cause it's like, how, how is this person like good at everything? How is this person like, so talented like some people feel like you got favored <laughs> how, how does it feel to be god's favorite something like that yeah or and then you're comp you have everything you do you do it with confidence like when saying, let me shuffle over again if it comes out again that means it, it's supposed to come out but i just want to make sure let me ask my question what makes pile to it what makes pile to it I'm gonna use the nightmare for Christmas tarot. I don't wanna use that tarot though, but I guess I have to, huh? Sorry if y'all hear me talk to myself. Sometimes it was spit because I'm not using the right tarot deck. But it's asking me to use. Okay, I got the Christmas tarot deck. What's up? Don't mix the pile to it. Some of you guys might be a mother too. Yeah, it's like people always watching what you're doing. Like, there, it's like you always have a crowd. Like, you got these fans. Some of you guys know about this, and it's other, others of you don't know about this. Others of you know about Some of you guys know about this. Some of you guys don't know about this. But it's always like a little fan base. Like, you got your own little mini fan base. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, and that's why a lot of people might not like you, too. Like, some people like it, and some people don't like you because they see, they see people like looking up to you and they wish they could be like that. They wish they could be as confident to be themselves and do all these things to try new things, but they're like, I just can't do it like this person. With the lids being closed, it's telling me a lot of people are ashamed to tell you that they look up to you so much. Yeah, but you're very gifted. Like you just have mad gifts. Like somebody might get so too. And it's like it's like you just keep unwrapping gifts. It's like they thought you were one thing, and then you'll be like, oh no, I play the guitar too. Oh no, I know how to do hair too. Oh no, I know how to sing too. Oh no, I know how to do this. Too. It's like it's like you come up with something like every year, every day. It's like you're just showing somebody something. It's like crazy. And you just seem like you got a very happy soul. People admire your soul, like. Yeah, you're very beautiful on the outside. I'm seeing somebody with like a bohemian type style, like a really relaxed style. Like you might wear a lot of t-shirts and jeans and stuff like that. A lot of earthy tones. You are fly though, but not like, like Paolo was more like, I wear designer, I wear suits, I wear, I'm really like a uh, clean, like I can go to a business meeting or I can go to brunch type clean. You're like, I'm a fly, like fashion forward type. Like you know, I live in New York type style. like. Your style is very fashion forward and very like hip and, and like, you know, just different. Like some, you might wear like a plain white, like tee or something, but you'll have like a, a bracelet on. That's like, that's interesting that you would put that with that. Like you, you very like different, you know what I'm saying? Very creative, very happy soul. People like your soul the most though. Like you're, you're very attractive on the outside. You have a lot of gifts, a lot of talents, but it's something about your soul that's just joyous. It's something about your soul that just won't quit. Like even if you are sad, it's like, it doesn't last very long. It's like people always watching you. And sometimes you be like, yo, I wish my life wasn't like this. But it's like, you you draw attention. You're one of them people that draw attention without trying to draw attention. Get what I'm saying? It's like, it's not like you trying to draw this attention to you. It's like the attention is kind of just here. But it's not something you're trying to do. Yeah. It's like 
you're so entertaining. <laughs> like people really find you so entertaining, but it's just like. But it's I do feel like sometimes you have a habit of putting on this happy front, but it do be stuff bothering you. But you're very good at hiding it, and somehow that makes you lit. Because my thing is okay. Let's say you're an entertainer. If you're going through something, you know how to go and, and make sure your your fans are entertained or wherever you're at is entertained. And then go back to being set or go back to dealing with your own problems afterwards. So you're like a self-sacrificial person where you feel like, all right, my, my duty right now is to make everyone else happy. So I'm going to make everyone else happy and then I'm going to worry about myself later. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't bring that energy into, like, whatever you're doing. Like if somebody messes, if, like if something is going on in your life, you don't bring that into your music. You don't bring that into your creativity unless it needs to be. You get what I'm saying? Like you don't let you don't let life affect you in the way that most people do. Like if something happens that's real bad, most people start freaking out and lose their mind or whatever and start panicking. You're like, you know what? It is what it is. It'll work out. Like you know what I'm saying? That's literally how you live your life, and you're also confident about. Like you don't just say that. You you actually believe that, and that's what makes you live. thinker you're very smart very intuitive as well but very smart like some of you guys might be able to adventure it's like you come up with something you come up with different ways to do multiple things it's like you know so much and you have so much to offer and you think outside the box and the people just gravitate towards you for that and it makes them want to grow have you seen these pots before that i lifted up it's like they might start off as closed off, but then as being around you, being in your energy, watching you, whether it be on social media or in person, it's like they make it makes them want to grow as well. It makes them want to branch out and try new things as well. Because they, they figure if such and such is not scared to do it, why am I so scared to do it? If such and such can do it, maybe I could do it too. So you're very inspiring in that way. Let's see what your angel had to say. You want me to pull more on the bottom of the deck? It's like you it's like you spark something in people it's like you spark something in people like maybe like you know how people they they call like people who don't like people who are still stuck in a 3d like people who like really think like all oh, this is rare or really think they don't have a purpose we just got here to work and and die and all that stuff like you you the type to be around people like that and turn them on to like what life really about turn them on to who of looking for their their, their their higher self of looking for who they really are of finding their purpose like you type to turn people on to that Yeah, maybe you should think about writing a book. Maybe you're already a writer. It would take off. I'm seeing somebody write journals. You ever seen Sex in the City and how she was right? She had like her own news column or something like that. I think that that will benefit. A blog will benefit a lot of people. Like a blog by you. You should start blogging your life and your experiences about your talents. People find it interesting. If any of you are going through any issues right now, this is the side message saying that everything is going to be okay, and that you do need to spread around this 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 confidence, this this energy, this aura, these these talents. You need to spread this around. See how it's pouring it. You need to pour this into the universe. When we are giving gifts, we're not supposed to keep them to ourselves. This recently in 2019 is when I really started giving my gifts to the world. And I've never been happier. I used to just hold everything aside and try my best to be like everyone else. But it wasn't working for me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I was just like, I'm not really happy. But ever since I started giving my gifts, giving my heart to the world, whether some people judge me or not, or judge how I do things or not, like, it makes me happy. So I feel like you should also do the same thing because people always going to judge you. Again, and you and you got um, career transitions. You might be having difficulties in your finances right now or just having difficulties figuring out what you're going to do in life. This is what you're supposed to do in life. Maybe you should write a book. Maybe you, again, I don't think, I don't see mentor for you. I see more of like a book writing or something or like some type of blog. 
wall. Because what you do is so fun. Like your personality and the stuff that you do is so fun. It's like people need to see it. They can't just read it. They can't just um read about it. You don't necessarily like the pattern one was more of a mentor. You're more of like you need to document this because it's like you're the type that I have a YouTube channel about something or uh, somehow document it and people will watch it and be like, yo, fuck it, I'm going to go do this too because this person did it. Somebody been, I feel like they've been saying this to you, but you kind of just been ignoring it. You had thoughts or ideas of all the stuff I'm saying, but don't be, don't be afraid to go ahead and start this as long as, like just put your intentions into the universe and just start and they'll take care of the rest. Let's see, let's get you a quote, and then we're going to move on to pile um, Everything is possible if you got enough nerve. Yeah. Some of you guys might have just been nervous about this. I don't blame you, though. I will not blame you, though. Because we're going through so much, y'all. We're going through so much right now. Like, as a collective, as a whole in the world, like, we don't know what's going to come. We don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. But I feel like this is what we needed, you know? Because life's been bland for a while. This is what we needed. But go ahead. This is just, this is your sign. If you was trying to do something, this is your sign, power to Okay, this is your reading power talk. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Please leave a comment down below in the comment sec section. Please let me, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post another video. And again, I am host, I'm having a free reading giveaway. And if you want, or if you're interested in entering that giveaway, all you need to do is, um, Leave a green heart emoji down in my comment section. I will be choosing the winner tomorrow by 7 o'clock. I will be sending you my email. I'll be coming in my email. And all you need to do is send me a question with a picture of you and a picture of anyone else involved in the reading. And I will, you know, get your reading to you as fast as I possibly can. Most times it's in with like a couple hours or to an hour of you emailing me. Well, with that being said, I'm moving on to power number three. You pick power three. You have the rose quartz. Let's see. What makes you lit? inspiration what makes you okay yours is different because what makes you lit is because you have great ideas you have a great voice you have you have like you should be a motivational speaker and it's like sometimes you can say something you hear that's so lit but you'll just keep it to yourself you're like yo that's lit what i said was was so inspiring you know what i'm saying like you you have a habit of inspiring yourself okay it says the there is a voice of inspiration within me right now. It's only a whisper. But the more I listen, the louder it will get. Soon it will be flawless speech voice by James Earl Jones through the megaphone with lots of applause. Again, you should definitely be a, 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 a motivational speaker or tell your story. Somebody has a story they need to tell. A story of depression, a story of homelessness, a story of what? Fearlessness and what else? abuse something like that some of you guys have stories like that even if your story not like to the extreme y'all have some type of story y'all need to use that story use that voice to to inspire people you can do this but my thing is yours is different because this one makes you lit but a lot of you haven't done it yet a lot of you haven't tapped into this yet so i think that you need to definitely look into that Yeah, you may have went through something in your childhood. Or you or somebody works underneath someone or somebody is making you feel small so you don't give out this information. But you shouldn't listen to this person. I don't know who this person is, but somebody is making you feel like you shouldn't speak up, but you definitely should. But I think that's because they see what's inside of you. Maybe some of you guys might write this stuff down in the journal, write this down in like some type of book or something or some type of paper. Like y'all write it down. Y'all have all these oh oh some of you guys is motion speaker but some of you guys it's about telling jokes because that's why he's laughing he's here i'm getting that some of you guys are joke tellers some of you guys are are comedians but you're just scared to be a comedian and you'll be thinking something oh that's so funny or whatever but you just don't say it out loud because i feel like somebody may have told you in your past to stop joking around or something like that so you've just been holding this gift it's like you've been holding this gift and not giving it to, not giving it to people when you need to. 
The divine wants you to open his bag so 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 badly. Yeah, and it's like you got all this fire just cooking. Like you've been cooking in your mind for a while. You got all this fire, all these crazy jokes, all this inspirational quotes, all this like all this like motivational speech. Whatever it is that you in your mind that you're not letting loose, you have so much of it. And you're like, yo, I got some heat, man. I got some heat. But you just scared to let it go. Somebody is trying to hold you back or was holding you back. Maybe, okay, for some of you guys, it's somebody you know. For others of you, it's some, it's just like you have, in your past. Like maybe you had a lot of bullies or something like that, but they seen the greatness in you. Or maybe some of you guys even got like a friend that, that low-key don't really like you. And like you might have just found this out that low-key don't really like you. So they always say, oh, girl, you can't do this. Or, oh, boy, you can't do this. Like, but they really know you can do it. But they watch it and keep telling you negative stuff. So you never go ahead and start trying to climb these stairs to your success. This is maybe an older brother, older sibling for some of you guys. Some type of masculine energy. But it's a very toxic energy. And they're jealous. I just hear this is who I am. Why are you explaining yourself? This is who I am what? somebody that's gonna make sense this is who i am so you guys always wanted to be accepted for who you were so maybe you guys try to normalize yourself and try to fit in but listen if you have a gift and you're not meant to fit in you're not meant to fit in you're not meant to fit in all right most of the most listen all most of the millionaires and billionaires never fit in in school they never you think you think jeff bezos no what's the other guy the, um uh oh oh my god i can't think of his name right now um warren buffett you think he was the most popular job in school hell no look at him look at uh quentin tarantino look at all of them johnny Depp. look at all of them wanda sykes Whoever, Monique, do they look like they was the most popular people in their high school? <laughs> Kevin Hart, like, do they look like they was the most popular people in their high school? Like, let me know. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, they wasn't. They had a gift, and they gave that gift to the world. I'm about to cry. Like, y'all, this is making me so emotional because it's like, I'm, I'm not, I don't usually get emotional, but it's like I feel, I feel somebody, and I feel like you're trapped. Somebody really is a good joke teller. Somebody really got that energy. Somebody really has a talent that has to do with their mouth, has to do with speaking. This kid, this whole pop, this whole uh, pick a card was about communication. But the two, the thing is, power one and power two are speaking up. They just don't know to. They just need to monetize it and stop letting people steal their energy. But you, you need to, you need to speak. You need to give it to us. You need to, you need to be this person. I'm begging you, just be this person because it's, it's hurting me right now. I really feel like I'm about to cry. Like it's like I feel like you trapped. I feel like I feel like somebody's being trapped in a cage or something. Like I feel like you really need to let yourself free. I don't know who told you to be quiet. I don't know who told you to be quiet. But you listen, fuck them. Whatever you got inside you, whether it's joke telling, it's storytelling, like whatever it is, it's so inspiring. Like I know it is, but you just need to let it free. You need to walk away from this normal normal. Maybe you thought you were going to have a normal life. Maybe you thought you were fitting with the crowd. But look at this pot. This pot is leaving. This pot is obviously different. Look at all these lids. Everybody got the same lid. Look at his lid. It's different. And it's okay to be different. And if you're different, maybe you got to leave. Leave the situation you're at. You're not meant to be the same. If God gives you a gift and you choose to be the same, that's like slapping in the face. Start working on your craft. Start working on yourself. Wow, this is inspiring. Like, you are you are beautiful. You got something in you, yo. Let's see what you got in you. very abundant this is gonna make you very wealthy it's gonna bring you abundance to your life popularity success everything 
And you gotta understand when we say it's gonna bring you popularity, success, financial abundance, that could look different for anyone. So we're not every we're not telling everybody are gonna be, you know, the next Kevin Hart. We're not telling everybody are gonna be as rich as Drake one day. We're not telling you that. We're telling you it's gonna make your life more prosperous than it already is. So whatever that might look like for you, you might be a, the, your next hometown comedian, you might be an Instagram comedian, you could be something, like you know what I'm saying? You can have your own little fan base. You could be a YouTube celebrity. Like, you don't know. It could be on a small scale. It could be on a huge scale. But I'm telling you, you got to let that. You got to let that flow. I'm going to get one more card, and then I'm going to get some angel eyes. Yeah, you got to pour into yourself more. It's like you're keeping yourself trapped. So you can't level up. It's levels to this. But it's like you're keeping these levels in a box. You're keeping everything you have in a box. Look at that. Everything. And that's why, it, listen. Listen. You got to let that stuff flow, man. You never know what will come into your life. You never know. Just start sharing your gifts. I, I look at it like this. For a long time, I was trying to be a nurse. I was trying to be all this stuff I never wanted to be. Like, I never had no desire to be a nurse. I just knew nurses made money. That was my only reason for it. I didn't care about nothing else but money. And I kept chasing money. And I was never happy. And I was always overworked. And I was like, why is everything so hard for me? Why am I not um, progressing the way I want to? Because I'm doing stuff for money. I'm doing stuff for, yeah, we got to have, have a job. I'm not telling you to go be homeless or nothing. What I'm saying is, don't base every decision off of money. Because there are people with money that are fucking miserable. There are people. And if you can have money. I don't care what nobody say. You can have money and be miserable. And it, and it hurt. Like, your heart will physically hurt. Your health will physically hurt. But, like, you might have a couple dollars, but you really can't enjoy it. Because, you get what I'm saying? Like, you're not being who you want to be. You're not loving yourself. You're not taking care of yourself. At the end of the day, all that money is cool. But you have to go to sleep by yourself at night. Like yes, you might have a spouse, a partner, but you're sleeping you're sleeping alone with your mind. You're alone in your mind. That's what people don't understand. In your soul, in your mind, you're alone. The money is not there with you. You can't take the money doesn't mean shit in the spiritual world. <laughs> it don't mean nothing. And within yourself. Your higher your higher self don't give a fuck about no money. If your higher self is miserable, your higher self is miserable. Yeah, all is well. Pour into the world. Pour into, pour into the world. Open your mouth. Somebody has to open their mouth. That's to make you lit. It's like you have so much hidden talents. And once you release them, it's going to be insane. Anything else? You think about crochet and sewing or something? Yeah. I think that you've been seeing like some type of sign. Maybe it's been angel numbers, maybe it's something else, but you've been seeing some type of no I'm saying rabbits or something like that. You've been seeing some type of sign that you should have been started doing this. So you can just start listening to them since the um the information that guys are sending you. Cold. You must do the thing the thing you cannot do. Exactly. See y'all see me pull that card. You gotta let yourself loose, man. You gotta, you gotta be yourself. But that is your read. That's your um reading power three. I really hope it resonates. I really hope you find your voice and be yourself. Like you're amazing. You're really amazing. Power three. Amazing. All my powers are amazing. But you, you, man, you need more people like you. But don't forget to like my like this video, comment, share if it resonates with you. Also, hit the post notification bells and subscribe. Now, I am having a uh, giveaway. So, if you'd like to enter my giveaway for a free, then all you have to do is drop a green heart emoji in my comments. And I'll be choosing them a winner tomorrow around 7 p.m. And all you have, I will send you my email. I will comment my email and then you will just email me your question and a photo of yourself or whoever is included in the reading. If that means that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.